State Street Global Advisors commissioned the iconic statue. Lori Heinel is their deputy global chief investment officer and joins us now from Boston. Lori, fantastic to see you. Exciting news this morning. I mean, there are live cameras down at the girl and the bull waiting to find out. People have been asking me all morning. We now know that she is leaving that location and moving right across the street from where I am sitting, right near the New York Stock Exchange. How did that come about? Uh, first of all, we're so excited about the fact that the girl is going to stay around. Uh, we've obviously been in close conversations and collaboration with the mayor's office for literally the last year uh, to identify uh, an opportunity to keep her in New York City. And we're so thrilled that collectively we've been able to find a place that where the fearless girl can continue to inspire girls and women around the globe. Lori, uh, in fact, w w we reached out to the mayor's office, and this was, I mean, people thought it was permanent from the start. When everyone found out that it might be temporary, there was a lot of uproar about that. I think she was much more popular than anyone imagined. And New York Mayor uh, Bill de Blasio is saying, we are proud to be home to the fearless girl. She's a powerful symbol of the need for change at the highest level of corporate America. She will become a durable part of the city's civic life. The move to a new location will improve access for visitors and ensure the message and impact continues to be heard. We are grateful to Stay Treat for partnership in keeping the fearless girl here in New York City. You know, it strikes me, it's, it's wonderful to know that New York wanted to keep her, but this is a busy city. She could have gone anywhere. She could have gone to Central Park. She could have been in Midtown. She could have been in fa facing off in front of a famous restaurant. She's not. She's staying in the financial district. Why was that important? Yeah. Yeah. Look, it goes back to the roots of where the fearless girl was inspired from, right? As asset stewards of nearly $3 trillion in assets globally, uh, we were making a statement uh, about our call on boards and on companies to increase their membership of women amongst their board members. And one of the things that we thought was really important was that that's highly associated with public companies, with Wall Street, with financial services. And so we really felt that it was important that she remain there as a constant reminder of the work that public companies still have to do to get more diversity in their senior leadership and on their boards because we know that companies that have more of that diversity make better decisions they have higher ROIs uh, they actually have lower risk levels so there we actually think it's perfect that she's going to stay there at the heart of the financials uh, district